Hi, I'm Brandon. I'm a junior here at PLU, and I'm from Federal Way, Washington. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm a senior here at PLU from Cambridge, Minnesota, and welcome to the PLU Commons. Today, we're going to be taking you all on a very special campus dining tour. We're going to show you some of PLU's food options. Let's, Let's do, do it! Hey, so today we will be sampling eight different dishes from the Commons and the Old Main Market dining menu. I'm excited. Shall let's, we? Let's dig in. Okay, so I think we're starting first with the poke bowl, right? I think we are. Get into it? Let's dig in, yeah. All right. All right, so I, I don't use a lot of chopsticks, Brandon. Ah. But I, I have seen people do this thing. Yeah. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> uh, that's fine. You hate you to see You don't even it, need the top. But it's, it's a sign of bad luck. So we've got the poke bowl here. This is definitely one of my favorite items on the menu. Yeah. Looks really good. I, what I love about the poke bowl is just there's so much color here. So many different textures. The right. salmon right here. Mm -hmm. So soft. Great choice. Great mm -hmm. choice. PLU. But this fish is cooked very nicely. There's kind oh. of melts in your mouth. There's no cook on that. No cook on that. Oh yeah, well, it's just is great fish. <laughs> <laughs> because it's raw, huh? Yeah, man. That's so tasty. How are you liking those chopsticks? You know, I'm actually better than I thought. I, it was a little mishap in the beginning, but we're powering through it. You got it, man. Mm -hmm. You're doing great. Thank you, thank you. Mm. They have a, a lot of options at the dining mm. hall for, for, uh, for toppings. Yeah. Mango, uh, ginger, we don't have today. But the have ginger have. I, I, I love the most. Um, crab, sweet onions, I yeah. think, too. Yeah, it's all, it's all so good. To me, it's just one of the better food options mm -hmm. uh, yeah. in terms of being able to really you know, oh, get creative. This is my favorite thing. I, I eat this every night for like three months. I can, um, this I can fall. see exactly why. Now. Every day after tennis practice, I got two poke bowls. That, there's nothing wrong with mm -hmm. that. No, no. All right, Michael, let's get into this flatbread, shall we? Yes, please, I've been waiting for this one. Okay, All so. Right. I'm ready, I'm going. Well, hold on, hold on just a moment, mister. Oh. <laughs> let's not forget this beautiful balsamic vinegar right. that pairs with this flatbread here. Man, I, I've not had balsamic vinegar on pizza before. That's I a new one. I cannot stress enough how good balsamic vinegar is. So <laughs> now that we have properly prepared this flatbread. Okay, now we're ready. Let's get into in. it. Okay. Um, so mm. Your half. Ooh, I, I like that crust. That's That's got nice. a good sound to it. That's a good vibrato. Nice. Yeah. All right, shall we? Yes, please. I'm dying. Pizza cheers? Pizza cheers. There you go. Mm. All right. Mmm. The dough. It's very sweet. It's like a sweet dough, which is something mm. I like. It's more of a Pizza Hut dough as compared to a Domino's dough. Yeah. If we're talking delivery. I really love the assortment of toppings on here. The veggies, they look great. They taste great. Yeah. Tomatoes we're... are very sweet and juicy, very garden fresh. The balsamic vinegar, such a sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a whole garden on this pizza right now. No. Oh. Should we um, try something else? Let's dig into this salad. I think we have an olio salad here. Very visually pleasing. So many colors. Salad dressing, oh, sir. Thank you. I love the salad choices that we have. They're really creative with them sometimes. This one in particular looks very appetizing. Okay, gonna get a big bite here. Some mixed greens, some chicken, Ooh. a little baby tomato. Let's do this. Mmm. Mmm. Mixed greens are fresh. I like that they uh, they decided to include some craisins. Um, it's a nice, sweet. I do like a bit of sweet in my salad. And those craisins the, uh, do a good job. The choice of shredded parm, very good. We also seem to have some little diced bits in here. Okay, up right. next. We have a sub sandwich. Yeah, I'm really excited for this one. Brand, you want to break down these layers for us? Oh, I got you, man. So it looks like we've got some roast beef here, some, mm -hmm. some maybe American or cheddar cheese, some tomato. Oh, these look very pretty. Oh, yes. And some nice crisp lettuce to top it off, everyone. <laughs> Amazing. Now, a trick I like to do, I don't know if this is OK with West Coast people, uh, but I like to put my potato chips into my sandwich. But these aren't just any potato chips, Michael. Oh, really? These are Tim's Cascade 
these these are really great because you know they're local we love to support a local company okay. um, these are you know sourced uh, not too far from here from what I know but uh, my personal favorite of these flavors has got to be the honey barbecue um, Honestly, they're all great though. The salt and vinegar is another really good one. Yeah, we don't have these in Minnesota. All right, I'm, I'm digging in though. All right, let's do this. Mm. Yeah, bread is very, very good good uh, thickness on that bread. Mm -hmm. It's not too much, it doesn't overpower the sandwich. Mm -hmm. I really love that tomato. These are nice big yeah. slices. I have a lot of issues with tomatoes, you know, but just being too soggy, too watery. But these are actually these are quite nice. Mm. These are quite these are this is exactly how much tomato I want in my sandwich. Is it good with the chip too? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that chip adds a oh, just a great salty, savory flavor. That's to it. very nice. Very nice. All right, Michael, you ready for some chow mein? Yeah, I think this is our vegetarian option. Ooh, from Cross Cultures, it seems. Yeah, that's one of my favorite stations in the commons. You know, Cross Cultures, I would have to say, is my favorite station at the UC. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've we've got so many great like multicultural dishes that they that they try, um, and I've been satisfied with pretty much all of them. Um, you know, this being just a great example of, you know, a nice meal that includes a, a good array of veggies and yeah there's a lot in here they've definitely exposed me to a lot of new new flavors and dishes that, oh yeah um yeah i i mean i never had in the midwest especially mm. Mm. okay but we have some tofu it looks like on the top yeah tofu okay. some zucchini some, some zucchini. red pepper oh god this one's a, okay <laughs> that's not gonna happen today unfortunately oh oh wow that tofu oh wow that's really good <laughs> i think uh mm. i'm tasting Maybe it's maybe it's ginger. Um, I'm really loving this tofu. Yeah, really you know, great alternative. I've never actually had tofu before. This is my first time. It's, really? It's delicious. It tastes just like uh, in Pokemon. There's that professor guy who always ate tofu. <laughs> it's, it's exactly what I imagined mm. it to be like. It definitely lived up to the hype. Mm. Uh -huh. It's very well grilled too. It's um, you know, it's got that nice charred taste. Oh, we got some onions in here too. Some cooked onions. Those look good. Mm hmm. Mm. Those cooked onions add a lot to this dish. Yeah, I really, I really give Cross Cultures a lot of credit for, for um, really, you know, being open to to trying new dishes, to to respecting different cultures and their and their cuisine. Um, you know, me being half Japanese myself, like I've absolutely loved every single time they've done a Japanese dish, and uh, you know, whatever it is that's up there, I'm I'm ready to try it. All right, Brandon, I'm excited about this one. Up next, we have Pili's famous chicken strips. These as are a big deal, too. Yeah, yeah, People these. People love these. Uh, we've got them in these very nice uh, reusable to-go boxes as well. Um, mm -hmm. These are really great. Um, you know, you pay like $5 to get one of these, and then you can bring them back for future meals to, um, to use free of charge. Yeah, save landfill space. Yeah, and All right. we've got some ketchup and <laughs> Looks like some ranch. Mine's like a little dressing. fish, dude. <laughs> um, we have some ketchup here, um, ranch dressing. I might actually try some of this chili sauce, though. Yeah. That looks kind of good. Yeah, I think I some might sweet go with that. Sweet chili sauce. Yeah. Just gonna put some of that here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Perfect. That's really nice, Mike. Can I get some too? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Here you go. Okay. Oh. I'm digging the mm. chili sauce is very good. Um, oh, yeah. That's chicken's very beauty. flavorful. Good breading. Very crisp. Yeah, this chicken's really, really nice and soft. I see why there's such a big deal about it. I mean, they have a lane in the UC just for chicken strips. Express lane right to chicken strips and I believe like grilled cheese you mm -hmm. can get too. I get it now, you know? Mm -hmm. It makes sense. I get why there's such a strong following for these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good choice on the chili sauce, by the way. Oh, dude, yeah, who knew? That stuff's delicious. Mm. Well, we've had a lot of good <laughs> food today. Um, I think I'm ready for dessert. Dude, yeah, my tummy's packed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, these All are right. hiding. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Uh, these burgers are what great. I'm noticing here is we've got some potato. There's some, everything on this. This nice is one of PLU's special burgers, right? Every yeah. day they have like a new special kind of burger, and I think this must be today's then. Well, I mean, I've never seen this one before, so pretty yeah, special to let's me. Let's get in there. 
Mm. Oh yeah, the potato adds a lot to it. That's really nice. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. I have never experienced a burger like this, but I'm, I'm really digging it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and, and it's nice too, because these burgers, um, you know, they can go with a meat patty or they have uh, black bean patties as well. Mm -hmm. uh, those are really tasty. They have the Beyond Meat mm -hmm. patties also as an option. Mm, yeah, peel you though. All around, very solid burger lineup. Great burgers. Our last item of the day is the fabled Uncrustable. Smucker's Uncrustable, a staple food item for all PLU students. I cannot stress enough how amazing these things are. I know that students across PLU uh, can all agree for the most part that these are just a great snack, a great pick-me-up in the morning. A great meal, man. I, I have two of these for breakfast often. These, yeah. these <laughs> are emotional support on their own. Mm. They're light and fluffy. Ohm is so great for stocking these all the time. <laughs> Quick pro tip, everyone. Sometimes these are frozen. If you buy one of these before class and have it in your pocket during class, <laughs> you can have it afterwards that body heat. At, yeah. a, at a perfect temperature. Beyond Uncrustables. I mean, Ohm, Ohm is a magical place on campus. Like freshman year, you're, you're stacked with dining dollars. You go with your group of friends at 9 o'clock at night to Ohm. You get some Ben & Jerry's ice cream. You get some Pringles. You get yourself a sugary drink and you go back to your dorm. And you're, you're hanging out, having fun, watching movies, working on homework. Yeah, one, some of my happiest memories, honestly. Just I, thinking back right now. I think of so many times where it would hit about 11.57, and <laughs> I knew that there were only three minutes left to get to Ohm. You run. And I have full-on sprinted there just to get a snack for the, for the rest we of the night. We've all been there. It's, yeah. I think it's a universal experience. <sighs> oh boy, okay. Well, we hope you enjoyed this culinary journey. Thanks for joining us, you all. Uh, we hope to see you soon. Go Lutes!